What is up everyone? I'm Ryan. I live in Cambodia. I make videos so you can see what it's like to live in the kingdom of wonder. This chair is making way too much noise. Maybe I'm just being too animated. I'm excited. This is going to be a big one. Today we're talking cash. The almighty dollar. Money. 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 Cambodia is one of the cheapest places in the world to live. Or is it? Yeah, I already said it was. Or is it? Yeah, I just said it was. It's... What's, what part of this are you not understanding? I've been living in Cambodia for almost a year and a half and I've been tracking every little penny spent. Today I'm gonna break it all down for you. I'm gonna tell you exactly how much I spend on accommodations, on food, on entertainment, transportation, magic cards, reconstructive surgeries. These aren't just estimates, these are my personal expenses and they're gonna give you a great idea of how much it costs to live in Cambodia. So let's get started. Dollar bill y'all. Dollar dollar bill y'all. Y'all don't know people like this. 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 Okay, before we get into the numbers, I want to tell you a bit about myself. When I was six years old, I got lost in a department store. I was alone. I was afraid. And then Santa showed up. I was relieved. But then ho 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 became Oh. <laughs> Acting. Actually, I just really wanted to note that I'm pretty frugal. That's all really you need to know about me personally. Part of the reason I keep track of my expenses is because I am pretty much retired. I just survive off my YouTube earnings, which if you know anything about YouTube, uh, they pay dictionary loads. I have to be frugal, I have to be smart with my money. That being said, I don't torture myself or anything. I'm sure there will be some people watching saying, you can spend way less if you, I don't know, get your drinking water from Shit Creek and filter it through some moss. Squeeze it out, wring it like a sponge kinda. But I'm sure there's also expats watching this spending way more than me and they're saying this guy should probably go to a more expensive barber. I mean, three bucks. Also, do note that I live with my partner in crime, Sarah, so we split a lot of cost. Things like rent is divided by two. If we buy a TV, the cost will be split. So just keep that in mind when you're doing your calculations. If you're alone, then you're lonelier and you're sadder, but you also have to spend more money. I got these totals after tracking my expenses for about 18 months, but I'm going to pick and choose which months I use because, for example, when we first moved here, there were a lot of expenses. We had to buy stuff for our new apartment and everything. All numbers are in USD. Just because I'm Canadian aid doesn't mean I'm gonna go and use the CAD, eh? Sorry. In Cambodia, their currency is real, but they also use USD, so it's just easier for me to give you all my numbers in USD. The most popular currency in the world, by the way, so I'll just like, take note of that. Also, this is per person. Any costs I share, I divide by two, so just remember that. It's for one person, me, I am one. Okay, let's get into these numbers and we'll start with groceries, which is usually a pretty big expense, but I eat out a lot in Cambodia. We're looking at $1,348.94 per year. That's what I spend on groceries. And I can tell you that $210.20 of that is on booze and $87.75 of it is on snacks. I like to keep separate data for those things. So if you don't drink or you don't really snack, then you could get that total down to $1,050.99, but you'd be pretty miserable, I imagine. So $1,348.94 a year, that is $112.41 a month on average, and only about $3.70 a day. So that's pretty low. However, let's move on to the eating out category and we'll see exactly how much I'm spending to fuel this Honda Dream that is my body. Cambodia, because it is so hot here, it's not the ideal place to cook. I go out for meals or I order delivery probably about two times a day on average. For this category, I have a subcategory called coffee. I was uh, pretty addicted to iced coffees for a while, so I was going out almost every day to get coffee and I wanted to kind of keep track of that number. But I ended up only spending $97.75 on coffees not made at my house in a year. That's $8.15 on average per month or just 25 cents a day. 
For everything else that is eating out or ordering in, I spend $1,870.45 in a year, an average of $155.87 per month. That means in total, I spent $1,968.20 for a year of eating out, which averages out to $164.02 a month, or just $5.40 a day. That's pretty good. That's actually really good. That means I'm spending a total of $9.15 a day for food, and that includes stocking up on booze, going out for coffees, delivery fees, all my meals out, all the groceries I buy, even toilet paper, which of course I use. We don't have to get into the details about my toilet paper use and what I do with the toilet paper after I buy it. Next up, let's look at rent and accommodations. Now this one's actually more complicated than you'd think. First of all, we moved halfway through the year, so we went from a one bedroom apartment that was $7.50 a month to our new place, which is a two bedroom apartment for $10.50 a month. Keep in mind that I split the rent, so we were paying $3.75 each a month and then $5.25 each a month at our new place. Our new place is really nice, I really love it, but I think $10.50 a month is a lot to spend on an apartment in Cambodia. This is definitely one of the categories where you could save some cash. That being said, that money doesn't just cover the rent, it covers so much more. Because we live in a serviced apartment, rent also includes internet, TV, a swimming pool, a gym, twice a week cleaning service, trash collection, security, and parking. Some or maybe all of these things could be additional costs if you don't live in a serviced apartment. I have a ton of information about finding an apartment in Cambodia. If you're looking to do that, you can check out my other two videos. I'll link them in the description below. In a year, I spent $5,150 for all this. That's the average rent between the two apartments divided by two. So that's $429.17 a month or $14.11 a day. And again, that's for one person. Sarah also paid that. While the rent does cover some extra expenses, it does not cover electricity, which is pretty expensive in Cambodia. Most service apartments are gonna charge you 25 cents per kilowatt of electricity. I don't know what the standard rate is. I think it depends on where you live in the city, but I'm sure it's less than 25 cents a kilowatt. So you could save some money there if you wanna to go to the electric company and have to pay the bill yourself. I probably will just play Nintendo instead. We ended up paying $1,177.46 for two people in a year. So that's $588.73 each. That works out to $49.06 each per month and $1.61 each per day. Pretty expensive. Now I should also include water under utilities, but we haven't had to pay water yet. Our first apartment, it was included. And in this apartment, he said he'll just charge us at the end of our stay. So water's pretty cheap in Cambodia. I would say you're not gonna spend more than $5 a month on water. But wait, what about drinking water? You can't drink the tap water in Cambodia, so we have to buy giant jugs of drinking water. Our apartment sells us these giant jugs of water for $2 each. If you have a store that sells them nearby your place, then you can usually get them for about $1.25 each. There is a store down the street from me that sells them, but it's 18.9 liters, it's pretty heavy, it's a hot country. 75 cents difference, it might be worth it to some, but for me, it's just so much easier. And I'm always like, oh no, we need water, we need water, quick, we need it for something. So it's just a quick run down to the bottom of the elevator and grab a bottle of water, so much easier. So on average, we spend $5 each per month on drinking water, that's $60 per person in a year or 16 cents a day. So the thing that keeps me alive, drinking water, it's great and all, but what about entertainment? Going out, getting some beers, drinking them down, going golfing, going to the movies. One of the things I love most about living in Asia is that it's pretty inexpensive to go out and have a good time. In Canada, I go out and drink five beers and it's gonna cost me like $30 probably. Here, I can do it for less than $5. We probably go out at least once a week. Sometimes we go out and do karaoke. Sometimes we do the happy appy tour, which is a thing I invented where you go from happy hour to happy hour and just get an appetizer at each place. I also go to the movies probably about three times a month and there's mini golf, there's regular size golf, there's concerts, live MMA, there's all kinds of things to do in Phnom Penh. Over the course of a year, I spent $603.84 in this category. That's an average of $50.32 a month or $1.65 a day. Oh my God, after all that entertainment, we better head to the doctors to see why I suddenly have a twitch in my right eye. As someone who just this year became a year older, healthcare is becoming more of a concern for me. 
I actually have insurance that Sarah's employer provides to me for free. I would never pay for insurance on my own because obviously it's a huge scam. So I don't really have to spend any money on healthcare, but I can give you some numbers to give you an idea of how much health services cost here, which will obviously be way less than you'll be paying per month for the scam that is healthcare. I pay $30 for a consultation with my doctor. I recently had a skin rash, went to the doctor. It cost me $40 for the consultation and the meds to clear it up. And I can proudly report that I am now 100% rash free. And I had some lab work done once. I won't go into the details, but that cost me $20. And then I went to a different place to get it done again, and it cost me $10. So uh, it was the same thing, half the price, I guess, shop around. I know this is pretty vague, but I'm not gonna go over my health history with you guys. My attempted penile implant didn't take so I had to go in for an emergency surgery. They ended up having to actually shorten my penis to save my life. So now I'm down to a not angry, just disappointed inch. The health section of my data is mostly medicines like allergy pills, painkillers, stuff like that. Also some stuff that the insurance company didn't cover because insurance is a scam. And even though I called them and asked them, are you specifically going to cover this when I go and do this? Yeah, yeah, we're gonna do it. And then of course they didn't because they're liars and they're scam artists. Total per year is $66.62. That's $5.55 a month and just 18 cents a day. Again, that does not include the cost of the scam that we call health insurance. Let's move along to transportation. No pun intended. Tuk-tuks are the best way to get around the city and I recommend the Grab app for booking your tuk-tuk. I spent $65.09 a year on getting taxied around. That's $5.42 a month, but I also have a motorbike and that motorbike needs petrol, it needs parking, it needs to be serviced from time to time. In a year, that bike cost me $104.60. That's $8.72 on average per month. And when you add it to the taxi numbers, you'll get a total transportation cost of $169.69. And 69 cents <laughs> in a year or an average of $14.14 .14 a month or 46 cents a day. Bring, bring, bring. How much do you guys spend on average per month on your cell phone? Let me know in the comments below. It cost me here in Cambodia just $1 per week, $4 a month, $48 a year, or 13 cents a day. Beat that. And that's for a plan that gets me five gigabytes a week and 500 minutes. One of the biggest monthly costs for me is the category I'm calling buying stuff. This is for things that I don't necessarily need. It's not food, it's not soap. It's things like this sharp pair of shorts that I recently bought. Finally, an outfit fit to be married in. I don't really buy that much, but Sarah and I have settled into Cambodia. We really like it here, so we've been spending a little bit more just to make ourselves more comfortable because we feel like we're gonna stay here for a long time. Take this category for what it's worth, which is $649.36 a year. That's an average of $54.11 a month or $1.78 a day. Finally, the last category is travel, and I debated whether I should include this in the totals. Ultimately, I decided I would, but it's another category that you could shave a bunch of money off of. We love to travel. It's one of the main reasons we live overseas, so we do spend a lot on traveling. It's actually my second highest category after accommodations. I spent $2,282.50 on travel in a year. That's $240.21 a month and $7.90 a day. That includes a trip back home to Canada, which, I mean, that flight alone was over $1,000. It also includes a few weeks in Thailand, some local week-long trips to Kampot, Koh Rong, Siem Reap, uh, a couple of weeks in Vietnam, and even some staycations where we just stayed a night in a nice hotel in Phnom Penh. I think in total it was 12 weeks of travel in the year, which is almost a quarter of the year, so we're definitely traveling more than most people. Also for some vacations, like the two weeks we spent in Thailand, I included all my expenses in the travel category. This means when I ate out on vacation in Thailand, I included it under the travel category and not the eating out category. All right, that's all of it. It's time to look at the totals. Can we do like a pie chart thing? Is that possible to do like a pie chart thing that shows what percentage is going where is that? Sarah! Sarah's a, a spreadsheet nerd. Sarah! And this is how everything divides up. Oh, there you go. There's some numbers and information. In a year, 365 days, I spent $13,535.88 in total. 
that's an average of $1,127.99 a month or an average of $37.08 a day. I mean, when you put it like that, that seems high to me. Hmm, I am spending more than I should be. If you found this information valuable, you could consider donating a little bit of cash to me on my website. Just kind of like buy me a coffee type thing. If you're new here, be sure to subscribe. I got all kinds of information, all kinds of juicy varts that I've squeezed out. Varts are video art. I don't do vlogs, I do video art. And there's lots of information out there about living in Cambodia. Uh, there's probably a playlist, maybe it's on the screen now. So take care, comb your hair, and we'll see you in the next one. Before I wanna buy myself, I don't wanna hang around y'all. Good health, one day I'm really gon' ball. Fuck around and buy the whole mall. Breaking that cake, flexing 700 in the bank. Not a superhero, I'm safe. Look at my face, look at my grace. Don't match up, no love, fuck a date. I just fade. When I hit the jack, you can get the pie. Every night I gamble, I stop. Yeah, when I check the cost, I was like, oh, that's expensive. I